Happy Saturday, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a Rittenhouse Game of Thrones Inflections. This is International Edition, and this is for Mark Matheson, who picked up two personal boxes. There you go. So one of them is 2544 out of 5,000. The other one is 4415 out of 5,000. So we'll see what we got in here. We don't have a break order right now, George. I haven't gone through all of the orders yet, so I do not know. We were at the, I was at scouting out, I was checking out the new shop, the new digs. So we got a, a little bit of a late start today. But we'll get there. Seems like a lot of orders coming in. I see 40 orders now. So it looks like people are in a breaking mood tonight. Um, why well, do say, Joe, if this is too personal a question, ignore it, but I'm currently in Fresno. Sports car shops I grew up buying from are probably practically gone or transferred solely to selling Pokemon, etc. Okay. Yes, that's true. That's not personal. You asked why, and the owner said the card game isn't the same as it used to be, and it's hard for a shop to survive. Wow. That, it, the core of our business will always be live stream and we're not going to be what old card shops are doing if it wasn't for rakes with jazz have a heart yeah yes absolutely we're we're not a we're not a card shop per se you know we're we're this live streaming operation that's the future There's Paul K. I don't know who Paul K is, Mark. I'm hoping this is a significant character. So yeah, we're we don't we're not necessarily operating under the guise of hey, we're a local card shop doing it the way local card shops used to do it for for years. We're trying to, you know, we're trying to do. Kind of be, kind of be, maybe this is. I think this is the future of what card shops could be. So yeah, if you, I think if you want to try to do it the old way, I think that, I think you're gonna. It's gonna be very difficult, but you kind of have to. You gotta adjust with the times. Part of her cape. It's pretty cool. And yeah, you know, and dude, we're, we're business people. You know what I mean? Like, if we didn't think we were going to make money, we wouldn't be throwing money, like, at a uh, at a new shop, right? And if we didn't think this was there was future in it. We just, we just stay right here. Add a batting. I don't know if we have space for a batting cage, Roy. Maybe, maybe I can start working a hole or two of my my natural grass miniature golf course. All right, there is this folk person right here. This this person. Look at these folks. Ben Crompton. Who is that person? Look at this. Imagine if you if you ran into this guy. It'd be terrifying. Maybe we can put a Papa shot in the shop, Rory. We'll have, we'll have pinball machines and arcade machines. All right, there you go. So I'm not... Uh, I don't watch the show. 
Not yet, anyway. I eventually will. But the person who bought these two boxes, Mark Madsen, saying that that was there were some big hits in there. So if he's happy, I'm happy. <laughs> That. And someone said that these, you can collect these too, and if you have enough of those wrappers, you'll get something, so we'll send those to you too. Yeah, George, I think the big hits in these would be any of the autographs of the, uh, and I guess if it's a main character autograph, that would be pretty huge. I think the only act person I know in this is, um, the guy that, uh, that played the mayor in, the Baltimore mayor in The Wire. And there's... Megan Parkinson. Yeah, new shop, Roy. Uh, yeah, well, we're adding a card bar. So it would be literally like, you know, like a little bar. Stools set up around it. And you can post up there and hang out, open up some boxes, watch the stream, watch the live breaks, whatever you want to do. <laughs> there, there is no pole in the bar. I don't know why I top loaded this. Right? There's no pole in the bar. I don't think that'll be, uh, that's not on brand for, for jazz fees. I don't, know if, I don't know if wives and girlfriends would let you go to Jaspies at that point. There is a dual autograph. It's Joseph Molly and Isaac Hempstead Wright. Um, how, how long for us to get settled in the braking operation won't, there will be no zero interruptions. But it'll take like a month or so for the uh, shop itself to get ready for, ready to receive viewers and everything. Bud, how do you, uh, how you doing? What do you think about the Lakers trading their whole team for Anthony Davis? Was it really the whole team? Everyone starts, everyone seems to start to overrate Lonzo Ball now and Josh Hart. Really, I, f I feel like we only moved the number four pick and Brandon Ingram. That was the trade. That's it, right? Because that doesn't seem too bad if you put it that way. Yeah, a couple of future first round picks, but what? Picks in the late 20s? I'm okay with that. There's Ke Kesha, Kesha? Castle Hughes. And she played Obara Sand. There's no future for that, for that team now? I mean, there was no future pre-LeBron James, too, right? I mean, you try to win one now, and then you buy time to rebuild again. Otherwise, I feel like if you kept, if you kept LeBron James and the, I, I think it would have just been kind of like a weird middle ground. You're kind of on the, you're fence sitting at that point. They just chose a side. You had to. You kind of had no choice. Mark Madsen, there you go. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.